Thine lords and ladies, welcome back to Total War Zaga, Thrones of Britannia. We are once more back in, well, in, in the lands of Britannia. We are facing a couple of invasions from the north, from the south, from the east. Not from the east, actually, but from the west mostly. And, and also from the north, we, in Lydus here. We want to take this settlement out, but our army over here is not the strongest as of right now, and I, I definitely want to give them the swords. They need to replenish quickly, and I'm actually going to send them over to Erfuvik, because I think they are going to replenish a little bit faster over in this settlement. Um, this doesn't actually give them as much as I would have liked, or anything. I, I hoped it would have given them some, some uh, replenishment, but it does not. Um, in that case, I'm not gonna spend so much of my money right now. I'm going to upgrade this. Yeah, I can't really upgrade that either because I need food. So I'm upgrading the Kalmer's Fort here. That's where I'm gonna spend my gold. Uh, it's been a couple of days since I've last played, so I have to look around what's Enemy going on. We have a pretty decent army right here. Our cavalry has suffered not terrible not. losses, however. Do we want to kill the new king, Hwedbird? Hwed... Hwedbird. Hwedbird. Or are we going to do something else? Where are we going to march over here? Where do, does thine have troops? We have Snottingham, of course, and... We need to take over... Well, I, I kinda wanna build this garrison force, so let's do that. And I would like to take over Derby. Yeah, uh, the Arabi, the, the, this province right here. So we are gonna take over that. Uh, a s bit of food, which is good. We, we definitely need that. With that, we have everything in this province. Where is Ver... Verink Wikum? Or where is... Um, Ver... Ver... Verink Wikum? It's down here. Uh, we probably should take over this province. I also would like to have Caster over here, or Chester. Because this could be my most western front for now. That would be quite nice to hold. And then I could maybe take over Scrubbersburg, no, not Scrubbersburg, Tamberthage. Tamberthage? Tamberthage? Verthige? Probably should take that over first and then march north. That's probably how I'm gonna do it actually. So, prepare yourself to attack that province next. You need one more archer, and you're gonna get a couple more axes. Uh, yeah, there we go. And you, you need to attack Northampton or Dorchester. We have two armies of enemies Impossible. here. One, of course, at Northampton, and the other at Dorchester. I can't attack Dorchester because the garrison force is massive, and so it is at Northampton. It's funny because I wanted to take over these two provinces first in the war, and now I have made huge gains in the north here. There's also this army from North Umbre, which is good, and North Umbre is probably going to be a little bit of an assisting, or assistant here, because, you know, they're not strong, they have taken a, a big toll in this war, but now that I'm actually striking back at the Anglo-Saxons, North Umbre will have pretty much Welcome. no problem I whatsoever. What I would like this defensive pact, but I cannot afford to give them any gold at the moment. Glyswick and Gwent, of course, they're still alive, surprisingly. Um, but I don't think they're gonna make it for long. Actually, Glyswick here could make it. The Sons of the Seven Brits. Oh no, the Seven Sons of Bailey. But there's also this army sailing up north. And I don't know where my other vassal is. He's, his army's up there, but he's holding a couple of provinces. Or actually, only one province. And then this capital over here. But he will hold himself for a while, I'm sure. Um, he's very, very poor, is the problem. If you actually look at this uh, province here, it's only two things here. And Stratclude, for some reason, has Kel Alaid under its control. And I cannot attack them right now. They're not strong, but they, they have a firm hold in the north, and I do not want to anger them at the moment. So now that we've kind of gone over the politics of the situation and done some things, we need to decide, do we want to march south to Dorchester, or do we want to march north to Northampton? 
Uh, Buckingham, we're definitely going to lose, which is not a problem, it's not actually giving me any food. Uh, Badenford, I cannot afford to lose. As it's such, possible. we're going to march north Smash and we're going to crush their king. It's going to be not the toughest battle, actually, because uh, I, I certainly have the superior cavalry. He does outnumber me with, not really with archers, he has some javelinmen, but his, he's mostly spears and some very cheap axes. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to be an easy battle. We're just going to, we are going to replenish from his numbers, of course, again, because we have to. Otherwise, I don't, actually, we might not be needing to this time. But I need a lot of full units to actually win the Siege of Northampton. Or is it Dorchester? I, I think it's Northampton. Ferrellatory looks like friendship, as the wolf looks like the dog. We're going to go... Uh, let's go with the fog. I mean, it's going to help me out not at all, probably. Because, I mean, I do want to go into his range. I have to march up to him, so it'd be good if his archers were a little bit worse than usual, but I, I doubt that's gonna be much of a really a thing here. We're gonna position our main front like that. A couple of axes over here. I'm gonna get my cavalry, all of my cavalry units over here. He does have one full unit of cavalry, which is going to be a little bit of a problem, but I doubt they're gonna do much, so uh, against my four units of very depleted cavalry and then we're gonna have these guys just in the back and they can flank wherever okay let's march up and we're gonna go into a little bit of a fast forward here march my cavalry over here and just march closer his army is very well trained but so is mine uh, especially his berserkers for example are really good um, but then again, his army is just really crap. Like, look at his armor. He has, like, no armor value on his units. I, I don't know if he has any good. They select third and not the worst, but they also just uh, levy, so they're really, really bad. I have these Anglian Marauders, and they're pretty good. And, of course, my spears here, uh, my swordsmen, my Daylor swordsmen, very strong units as well. If we actually look at the melee skill, it's not bad, actually. Yeah, he's, his melee skill is not bad in most cases. Uh, these long axes aren't so good, but everywhere where he has like very trained units, they, their skill is pretty pretty dope. Also, I think these thanes might be good. But I'm not so sure on that. I kind of don't want to march further than this, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna provoke him a little bit with my cavalry. I should not fast forward here anymore. I do not want to fight this guy. Yeah, there we go. Uh, hopefully he actually charges at me. Our hidden units have been discovered. Uh, units have been discovered. We do have armor and weapon upgrades on most of our units, I believe, which is really good. Yeah, it actually does help. Oh, yeah, there's melee again, which is better. I, I just do not want to fight them. Okay, I guess we have too much up here, so... Go quick. And I'm gonna hide my cavalry back in the forest. I kind of want to have my archers on this flank to fire at the long axis. I know I always say they are kind of weak, but they also could be very nasty. I need to drink something, I believe. So, apologies while I do that. <sighs> okay. Okay, okay. Let's march further up ahead. Into his range. And I might go into shield wall when he starts to charge at me. Oh, well, we certainly... Sh certainly. Oh, well, we certainly surprised you. Okay, his cavalry is actually charging forward, so all of my cavalry charged him. Arrows are flying over, so you know what? We're just gonna charge him. Get these guys over to the flanks. 
archers are focusing on this. No, that's this, the wrong X-Men. Oh, these long axes. And get them in there. Come on, I do want to charge bonus if that uh, possible. I do want you on that. So, General get in there. The spearman just somewhere in there. Definitely help out over there. Where's the other unit? Oh, well, they're already in the fight, which is good. Get the cavalry out of there. They they are done from this battle. Uh, they lost enough already um, in the past few battles. We'll go over here. Quickly, General. Quickly. There's some cruel axemen, but I do have two. Actually, I have the Berserkers and the Yalsu Skulls. Where's the other Yalsu Skulls over here? They should do pretty well, so. I'm not too worried. Get the archers to maybe fire on his, uh, his archers or something. Uh, and definitely start moving in the king so that he doesn't just die from being shot at. This doesn't look so good for my Yars Huskars here. I don't know what's killing them. But it's something, for sure. Get the cavalry over. Oh, was it the horsemen? I didn't think they came back, to be honest. Having a good fight over here. This is pretty good. It's going in our favor right now. Uh, these javelin men are just killing so many of my men. And also, I'm losing so many of my skulls here, right? Oh, what's killing them? It's not the archers. The archers are not firing on them, so... Oh yeah, the third spear definitely charged the general. That's gonna be really good for you. You have to help out against these thanes now. Breaking this front is pretty good on this flank. Where's my cavalry? Get the cavalry over here. I need to silence some of these guys. Because they are killing a lot of my men. And that's never a good thing. It's going to cost me though, I think. Right, focus on these guys now. Wait, who's flying? Oh yeah, of course, the spearmen over here. Uh, not surprised by that, to be honest, because, well, they were fighting the general of the enemies, and really that's not a good idea. Oh, I guess he can just pull out of the battle. If I do that, all of my guys are going to die. Hopefully, the scouts are going to kill a lot here. Not die too much. Send on the horsemen. Send actually these horsemen right in there. I hope I have the third, or not the third again, my horse skulls because I think they are a little bit. Uh, yeah. And this general is really putting the herd on me right now. The men have been routed. Yeah, that's bad. Also, these third spearmen are goddamn good. It's, been, it's a much tougher fight than expected so far, as, as much as player. Definitely will have to take on some warriors after this battle. But hey, we actually did break his axes over there finally. Charge the general, everyone. Who's running? Who's, who's running? I don't know who's running. Someone is running. Berserkers are not winning as good as uh, as easily as I would have expected them to do over here. Oh, what's my cavalry doing? Still fighting. Okay, they're actually fighting some swordsmen over here. Some six warriors. I didn't see them. Oh, they might die really brutally here. And these archers, or oh, these javelin. Speaking of archers, fire on them right there. The enemy general is finally being beaten, which is really good. And everyone else is also suffering losses right now. So I, th I think the battle is pretty much over. But we lost much, much more than I expected to lose. We can just fast forward. I think the rest is going to be pretty easily here now. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm not gonna run anyone down. Uh, it's a, it was a close victory, indeed. Um, not nearly as easily as expected. We lost a thousand men. That's brutal. That's actually really brutal. We can't just go and siege them now. Uh, who killed the most here? Well, these javelins right here. His archers did pretty well, two of them. His swordsmen, yeah. And his spears did surprisingly well. And some of his coral axemen. Not as weak as I expected them to be. Definitely need to have to take on his warriors because... Well, we're gonna lose some otherwise. And we cannot attack him this turn, so... We'll have to end the turn here. Which is a shame because he's going to get a new general and actually maybe escape him. Huh? Didn't expect that. Okay, you are going to attack Aferovik. Hopefully I have a garrison force over here. <laughs> but then again, I think the army is just good enough to actually, you know, survive. This one thing I never understood. How come that once the settler is under siege and it has, it has a port, why can't you replenish your units anymore? First of all, of course, the port is still free, so you could chip them in, but also can you not recruit from the town's populace? <laughs> Just like, hey, uh, we are being attacked. Oh, dire tidings. Great news indeed. Our scouts are reporting that massive navies are setting sail. Oh, grave news. For Britannia, we must reinforce our borders and coastline before it's too late. I totally forgot that part. Uh, we definitely have a strong garrison force. Uh, yeah, I think we can just march out and do this one automatically. We don't have to wait for them to siege us. And we actually murdered them, just like that. How's the garrison force looking here? Very weak, so we can't just go and, you know, siege this and take it over. That th thanks, guys. Um, that was pretty nice of you. So you're going to march to this settlement, which is also not that well defended. Don't need to wait here. Just build some towers and probably are going to do that automatically. Uh, the Rarity is over here. We can upgrade this, sure. And also upgrade this. It's just more food is really what we need. Um, you can rely we're going to hunt on his army. Ah, okay. He's actually having his garrison force. Do I want to fight this? What is this garrison force? Some male spearmen, very strong. Some old thanes, also extremely strong. A bunch of archers. I don't think I can fight this right now with this army. Fall so back. I'm actually going to fall back. And, well, we will, I cannot go into any other stand, so I'm just gonna. I guess I'm just gonna wait here. Um, yeah, Get I guess I'm just gonna there. go I'm right here and, and wait for now. Not an Which is not good, uh, of course. It's not good. Do I have another state? I do in Durabi, that's why someone is loyal. Give him the estate, and he's happy. Governor gives, gives, gets a scribe, Bring and that. this general gets, of course, the quartermaster. And let's see, we can upgrade something over here, the pottery. Sure, let's upgrade that. I don't know why he attacked me over here, that was not very smart of him. Let's see, Gwent and you are still doing stuff, I don't know why you're not attacking. I guess I could tell you to attack, like, right there. Which is over the sea, so that would be nice. Are you at war with? You are at war with North Umbria. It's well intriguing. Done. I'm gonna give you a little bit of gold. I, oh, that's so. enough, I suppose. Come, I, I was about to say, what I don't really have do that have much more me? gold, but uh, 100 is enough for him, so that's good. And they are now our military allies. Uh, not our military allies, our defensive allies. Bring ale. We have a visitor. Make this uh, door fight. Too. No, I Perhaps cannot join this fight right now. I mean, if you were to join me as a vassal kingdom, I, I'd sure i join this fight. Oh, well. Yeah, that's what I expected. Let's end the turn. People are really happy with me right now. We will not be fighting them right now, but I'll have to march south to actually stop him. Bedinford is not a massive city, so it's not a walled city, so it's not gonna stop him for long. I'll have to kill the army up down south, and then march back north, but that's a, that's a bit of a problem. Can my general not do a night battle? I mean, I would like to actually attack his garrison outside of the city, because, damn, it's really strong. 
Supplies in my uh, okay, and Grant has mobilized. Well, that's good. I mean, if you take over this, you might as well just take over everything else over here. So that's really nice. Don't know where that other army went, but I'm not gonna really concern myself with that. And if Gwent takes over some more territory, then they will build bigger armies, and that's just nice. <laughs> just that's just nice. We'll see this through. Can you not attack? No, you can do night battles. I just didn't see it. You also have a loot. I sing in praise of total war. Haha, <laughs> that's funny because you know it's a it's it's, it's a total war game. Also, I won't we sing in praise of total war mostly because you don't want to hear me sing. <coughs> Why is this army so trained? He must have a like a pit or something over here that he gets training things done. What am I going to get next? I think it's the food stuff. Yeah, irrigation which is nice and then villa estate farm and then the food production which is really what I need right now. Uh, we can't just do this one automatically and to be honest I am going to do this automatically. We'll have enough other battles to fight in the future and uh, the whole time. So, oh, Thamworth Rich, Steadfirth Blacksmith. Metalwork is not just a necessity, but also a decorated art. Yeah, well, I'm, I agree. I could Every upgrade. I guess not, because it's destroyed right now, but. Okay, you're gonna march north now that I have this under control. And you are just going to take this over. Yep, stuff him in the face. Take over the settlements. Uh, I'm, wait, am I? I'm less legitimate, even though I took over the, an English settlement. It's a bit weird. I would like to build a garrison force, and uh, to be honest, I'm just going to do this. Yeah, garrison forces are pretty much necessary everywhere. I'm not gonna build any units right now. You're gonna march over to Chester, I believe. Or maybe you're gonna stay up in the north because the Norse or the Danes are gonna come from this way. What do we have over here? Oh, Sudria is still a thing. Well, not for long, that's for sure. And I can appoint a governor. And I'm gonna appoint one up here. How many do I have? Yeah, that's what I thought. So, this is the last governor I can appoint. And now we are set on that. Now, can we upgrade? We are actually already upgrading this, which is good. I would like to upgrade this, but I can't because I don't have the food. Speaking of that, I think I need to upgrade some food stuff because we are upgrading a lot of other buildings. Enemy blood and with you, we are going to face the heir's army. Or oh, is this the new king? Might be the new king already. Um. Impossible. Yeah, of course, this was the king and we By killed no him. Uh, we no. And now we have to march south to defeat this army. Eager and willing. Yeah, as we know, they just pump out army after army. And this one, this one is real elite actually. Oof, that's not good. I'm gonna Fall retreat back, from this. Man. And... Can I ready. get this bridge on my side? Maybe Come if I stand right there? This is beyond us. Yeah, I think he has to cross the bridge now. Though, of course, he could attack from I the other me. side, I think. We'll see, we'll see. Um, let's end the turn. Hopefully, he must cross the bridge. The chance to end this war. He Before does want peace, but I do not want peace at the moment. Yeah. Oh, he does have to cross the bridge, please. Yes. Okay, we are going to win this so, so easily. Not easily, actually. It's going to be a freaking brutal battle. He has a lot of 200 axes, and they are pretty elite. He doesn't have too many archers, which is actually kind of nice this time. And with not too many, he doesn't have any on this side of the river. Hey, we also are defending the settlement, which is kind of cool. Uh, he does have a helping army coming from this side of the river. But that's not a big problem, I, I just can put up some other units. I'm gonna get my swordsman to hold the bridge. And then some berserkers. Oh no, never mind, his allies are actually arriving from his side of the river too. So yeah, just get some swordsmen ready. These axes are not gonna do much. These axes are... Well, they need to hold if the swords break. 
cavalry. If they have to, if I have to use the cavalry, it's basically already over. And then the general and the rest. Quickly start the battle. So then just up. Send up my archers over here to fire in their flanks. Okay, quickly get up on this bridge. The enemy has reinforcements. Position yourself right, like right there. The the enemy fire if I, oh, Back there you do. <laughs> Then you're gonna get right there. The pace, man. Follow them. And who's marching right there? Swordsman. I don't know. Swordsman. You Pick are going to be positioned man. over here. Maybe not. Swordsman. Swordsman. Be positioned right there. Move it, man. We will and then you're gonna march over Glorious and blunder. you are going to march that over because I need berserkers probably oh. later in the battle as well as my king nearby um, he, he seems to wait right now I am going to win the time runs which is nice okay, I, I thought they actually fixed this bug but I th think they did Quick in the pain. Just, uh, no it doesn't seem like it oh, let's go into the shield wall Let's actually get some of the axes in between. Just to get a little bit of a, a mix in here. Don't know what's firing on him. Is it these guys? Yeah, it might be. Oh yeah, it is these guys, and they are killing a lot. What? How are they doing that? First of all, it's an impressive range, but also kind of in a shield wall. I'm not sure how you're killing so many. But I'm gonna just I'm gonna sit back and wait. Because why should I not? It's of course a little bit of a shame that my swords are just being massacred up there. You you try that again with the chill bow. I guess this looks better. Uh, I mean, he doesn't have too much ammunition, so... And that, with that, I mean, he's out of ammunition. He's gonna not have much here. Yeah, just wait. Just wait until they come. He has one unit of horsemen, which is not gonna be much of a problem. These spears, uh, not gonna do much, but I'm gonna put them over here just in case. And yeah, the rest of my units, as I said, uh, if they have to be used, it's going to be pretty much over. Of course, now he's going to throw some more spears at these guys. But they're, they're gonna take it. They're gonna accept that. And we're gonna have a good angle to fire into his flanks. Not you, really. Maybe I, I put them a little bit thinner. Like that. Yeah, just uh, charge in your cavalry. He did get them in pretty deep, but they're also being slaughtered. Yeah, they also... Yeah, they're just dead. Who is a unit I would like to fire on? These long axemen are a unit I would like to fire on. Don't fire into the backs of mine. That's the only thing I really want you to not do. Maybe I'm just gonna tell you to fire on your own orders. And see what you do. These swords are getting destroyed though. I'm just gonna fast forward because it's just a big old grind really. And we're just gonna see what, what really comes what, what happens here. Probably should get in my berserkers pretty soon. Well, after they killed the first uh, the, no that's not the unit I wanted to use. I'm gonna put my general right here because he's a pretty decent unit. Uh, he does have the Warlord's Companions at the moment still. Not the right unit actually, he should have the other ones, but I, for this Right now, I do like that he has the two-handed ones. Uh, retreat, because I do not want to lose you fully. So get back here. We've done enough already. Now, the Angler Marauders, they might do a little bit more damage here. And the Archers are also firing right into the sides here. Let's get the Berserkers in there and see what they can do. O2 can do. 
I don't know if you have actually L2 in any... L2 might be an international thing. Not just German. Uh, of course, this is not the most thrilling fight to watch. It's just a big old mess, uh, like one choke point. I wish there would be like a second crossing somewhere down the river. Maybe a third, but you know, it is what it is. Can't make everything perfect. At least they do have river battles again. And yeah, let's see what the... The Exodus are fighting much better though, and these Berserkers are also going to really help out in killing the enemies. And I kind of don't want to take on Boreas because it is costing me experience, which as you can see the enemies, they have a lot of experience because, oh, well, these guys didn't actually, didn't. <laughs> his army is pretty ex inexperienced in comparison to his other armies that he had before. Time might actually run out here, but as you can see, they're just dying one after another, and I'm not losing. I'm not losing too many here. The berserkers are going to. Oh, okay, I guess you're in a group now. Are doing well. Axes are pretty good. And then, of course, the archers. They actually are doing the most kills here. They're just firing into the flanks, but. Yeah, give them a little bit of morale. I don't know if that actually does anything else apart from morale. I don't think so. But just kill them, kill them all. And they're once my archers are out of ammunition, they're not gonna die as quickly anymore, obviously, because then my, my berserkers have to do the stuff all themselves and these axes as well. I could just send in like these swords, for example. Just be like, hey, swords, go in there and fight get some kills, you know. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice push here. Oh, I forgot to ma actually name the last episode the Saxon Shuffle. It was something really funny, I thought. But then I forgot to name it like that. I could let him come out and then surround him fully. But I don't think the Berserkers... No, the Berserkers are not yet in Berserk, but you know what? It's fine like it is. I think I am in the advantage in this battle right now. So, he lost a lot of his mail to X-Men already. And there's not gonna be really a mass route, so that's kind of sad. They're all tired though. So. I'm surprised how long these mail so X-Men are actually fighting. But once they are done, I, I mean, the swords are actually the worst. The X-Men are not that bad. Though he does have a lot of them. I don't know. Yeah, they didn't kill that many. Okay, they're, they're actually pushing quite quickly now. And a lot more of him are dying out of them than out of mine. But I'm not sure what exactly is the cause of this. I can't really see. I guess the swordsmen are really getting a lot of kills right now. Dane Law, male swordsman. Swordsmen seem to be pretty much the best unit in the game, apart from Berserkers. Though they did nerf Berserkers, but they are still way too strong. But otherwise, I would say that swordsmen are usually the strongest. Though that's not really fair to say. The uh, the Wales, Walish factions have one really strong. The Tilu Tulu Spearman Tilu Guard or something. They are such strong. Uh, Spearman, it's actually insane. Okay, so here's guys already fleeing all the way at the back. Sadly, yeah, that's another thing. There's no second choke point, so I can't go around and actually like trap him in here. Also, look at this mass of man and steel right here. That's that's a brutal sight to behold. Oh, he actually activated Rally. That's nice. It does give 5 plus morale, so might as well do it myself. Not that I need it. Uh, it's gonna be a long one. <laughs> it's actually gonna be a really, really long battle. But at least we're definitely going to win it, so that's good. I mean, he, he suffered so many losses. I'm surprised that this front is just not fleeing. I mean, look at all these depleted units. 
let's send in. Uh, I guess the answer is because I, I don't. I'm not too convinced with these guys. They're not good line fighters, which is pretty much what I have been using them as. They're really good at flanking around and gen charging into the backs. That's why I only have two of them. But as a line fighter, they're not that good. Which is why I think that the general is actually kind of better as a Huskal unit, because when do you ever use your general in a melee line? If you do, then you sh probably shouldn't. <laughs> You should use him to like flank around and always keep him somewhat safe. Uh, and you know, if you try to overwhelm your enemy with numbers by flanking him, then that's usually pretty safe for the general. If there's no enemy cavalry that could, you know, ruin his day. Uh, the berserkers aren't actually in the fight anymore, so that might be why they they haven't been doing so much lately. But now that they are, they are uh, they're killing a lot. They also are fresh, so that's pretty good. Look at the morale of the Berserkers. Um, it's actually kind of insane. But again, uh, his morale is for some reason. Like, look at these javelinmen. There are seven left of them and they're just not fleeing. And now that the Berserkers are actually back in the fight, they are just racking up kills left and right here. There's... I don't understand why they're so good. I guess it's a melee skill, really. And their melee damage. No, the melee damage is not that good. It's it's just their melee skill. And their... Yeah, I, I guess that's what it comes down to, is the, the melee, melee skill. Uh, it makes sense, you know, but still, it's insanely good. Uh, I did lose a bunch here because I gave an order to attack, and apparently that killed just a bajillion of my berserkers. But now they're... They're breaking some of the enemies here. More are breaking in the back. And I still have a, a healthy amount of units uh, in reserve, you know. See, they flee before our might. Yeah, I see that indeed. Also, a very... I could just look at the, some of these units or something while the battle is going on, but... Look at these guys. What are you even blocking? You're way too far behind to block anything. Just, oh, look, at there's a banner carrier in here. And the funny thing is because they all do like this shuffle, this fighting animation, even the guys in the back are getting tired because everyone is in the fight. And of course, on my side, they also... Actually, they're not really tired. I don't understand why that is. Uh, the swordsman should be pretty tired, but I guess not. Uh, they don't, don't seem to be in the fight. And the berserkers are also... not too tired. They haven't been in the fight for that long. I'll charge them back in. I want them to get gold free in this fight. Though of course they're not gonna keep it. I, I kind of need to take the warriors on just to refill my ranks because look at how depleted my units are. And I want to siege Northampton. And if he just keeps sending the armies down one after another, then of course I can take them out but I, I do want to make progress as well. And we have to be ready because the Normans are gonna come soon. And I can't really allow them to get a foothold on Britannia here. And they're gonna shoo through the Saxons pretty easy. Uh, they're not even the Saxons, that's the problem. They're just uh, West Seeks at the moment. And West Seeks is going to not be a challenge for them because I just killed all of their troops basically. <laughs> over and over again. Yeah, see, they're not even in the fight at the moment. Don't know how much they need for World 3. But whenever I do order them to fight, they're just losing so many, I don't understand that. Otherwise, they're just standing around stupidly. Uh, can you just go into Berserk, please? And then I don't have to order you because you're just gonna fight until you're all dead. But apparently, you do not want to go Berserk. When do you go Berserk? This you can go berserk during the battle, this makes them uncontrollable, they automatically attack me by enemies. Yeah, I want that. <laughs> I, I do. Really want that. Oh, he's actually charging up his general now, that's really good. Because um, if we kill that bastard, then... He's killing a couple of hours. Actually, he's killing a lot of my swordsmen here. But if we can kill his general, I'm actually going to send my angry marauders at him. 
manage to kill him, then that's gonna be the end of the fight, basically. Charge the general, everyone. He's also going to kill a lot of mine because general units are generally pretty strong. Yeah, you see, yeah, 66 me melee skill here. There's nothing to sneeze at. And we're fighting them man to man here, so they're going to chew through my troops here. Though, oh, he does have some very strong male seeks still in the back here, so it's long from over. I could probably send on like a fresh unit of axes and then retreat these three units once they aren't in melee anymore. Like, let's get these guys out. And then these swordsmen once uh, the battle is over with for them. Because we have this fresh unit of axes. I don't want to lose too many of them, so... Of one unit, that is. His axes are not doing so well, though. Uh, at least their charge wasn't all that powerful. Actually, I'm gonna get let him get off the bridge. Let's form up. Uh, let's retreat the swords. Hopefully not too many of them die. Okay, you're gonna be over there. Oh, the enemy general is dead. Well, that's good, but... A little Where's bit late. Where's the fight? We're gonna Where's let him get off warriors. the bridge. Action. Now. Just gonna get the other ones a little bit further back. And pull these axes out. Yeah, they're gonna lose a lot. And there come all of his units. I hope that once we can surround them, they're just gonna die a little bit quicker. I'm also gonna go into shield wall. You cannot go into shield wall. Oh, yeah, I guess it's even closer. Yeah, I just want them to be fighting me on all fronts here. Come on, get in there. Just fight them everywhere. That should go by a little, little bit quicker. We're probably going to lose a bunch of men as well, but look at their numbers drop now. Because they're just fighting on all sides. Instead of just one massive fr front. And all of their units are very, very tired. And mine are not. I don't know why he could have uh, he activated morale boost here, or how he could do that, because his general is actually dead. So, yeah. But look at that, now he's really suffering. I could even use my cavalry, which is not that depleted anymore, uh, to maybe get some guys of them trampled. I'm not sure if I, if I need that. He does have a lot of units still from his general here. And of course, I lost more than if I had held the bridge here, but it's just, this battle took way, way too long, really. If I had an easy to access, like, editing re uh, program, I would just edit this battle out, but I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> so, you'll have to endure this, sadly, but maybe, maybe you want to, I don't know. It was not really a, a thrilling battle. Uh, maybe this general dies. Maybe the other one is actually still alive. You know, now that I think about that, that might actually be exactly what's going on. If this general is just dead. I forgot that he has two. Oh, these Thanes are still fighting on as well. Go on. Yeah, this guy is definitely still alive. Yeah, general nearby. It's a pretty big morale boost. But he's fleeing now. Hopefully we kill him. Come on. Hunt him down. Just kill him. No, don't. Don't let them escape. You have to kill this general. Because that's... Uh, he's a pretty trained general, so I definitely want to see him dead. 
Come on. Four units left. Three units left. One left. <laughs> it's the last guy. Get him. He's not very fast. And he's dead. End the battle. Decisive victory. Could have hunted them all down. But he only has... Oh, he actually does have 500 remaining. And it was the king that... Again. Uh, some pretty, like, 370 kills, 340, 250. The archers, of course, <laughs> did the best. Basically, from the KD, because they didn't lose anyone, and they killed everyone. We are going to take on his warriors, and we did destroy another of his armies. Two of his armies, actually. And you're gonna take over the settlement, of course, because you're a little bit of an asshole. And that's gonna cost me a turn. But the way north to Northampton, I believe it is, is now open. And I don't know if he has many more armies besides what this, what I destroyed. He will rebuild his armies, but I think I've done a lot of damage on him here. Uh, rule without the locals or include the locals. Making a thing of it. Once you have conquered, you must rule. Your council of advisors, now as your thing, are essential for this. But now you are ruling over foreign people and they would like to say, uh, say too. Should you ignore the mewling of the English and rule as you always have? Or should you include some of those you have conquered in your future future consul, councils? Perhaps even admitting foreigner to the thing. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's uh, include some locals. Because, yeah, remain steadfast, sure. Dark Omen. The heavens have parted and unleash a great storm that is ravaging the seas in all directions, sinking many a merchant ship's fleet. Many a courier believes this to be a dark omen, signaling our impending loss to the incoming invaders. But perhaps this is a blessing in disguise? Even the greatest sailors would struggle to stay afloat in these conditions. Well, we'll see that. Why did I? Oh, I lost Bedenford. Yeah, sure, it's food. Um, so I have to take Enemy that back for sure. By no means. Actually, I'm gonna do that just immediately, so Look we don't the have the food problem anymore. Uh, yeah, pretty strong army, but they're just dead. And we're gonna occupy. Yeah. And we still have a food problem. Because it's damaged, okay. But there goes pretty much all of his armies. He's going to annoy me with small forces now. We're gonna march north here. Um, this army, I don't know what this army is going to do. Maybe just stay up in the north for now. Because of the Danes. And... That's pretty much it for this episode. I thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, then consider leaving a like and a comment down below. And we will see us in the next episode. I also thank all of my Patreon supporters, which is Venerable 505 at the moment. Until then, take care. Bye.